In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to use Elastic Stages Adobe templates to create your own custom artwork. We'll go over all the basics and save your design as a print ready PDF file. To get started, download the templates from Elastic Stage. Choose from the templates for 12 inch vinyl or CD soft pack formats and open them in Adobe Illustrator. Depending on your release type, you may or may not need the booklet file. When we print material that is later trimmed to size by cutting the edges, we have to make sure that the images go all the way to the edge. The general standard in print is to let images go 3mm further than the trim lines. This is called bleed. We have a 3mm bleed around our blue trim lines in the template. Make sure you extend it to the red bleed lines. It's generally good practice to keep important text another 3mm away from the blue trim line to avoid it being cut off. The template will show the bleed line, the trim line, all of the safety lines, and the fold lines. Before dragging your images onto the template, make sure to click on the layer group labeled your design. This ensures you're working within the correct layer group. Any assets you add or create must be in this layer group, otherwise they will not appear in your final PDF file. The other layer groups will be locked meaning they won't appear when you save the file as a PDF. However, you can toggle them on or off using this button. Toggling the guides on or off is helpful for placing and arranging your artwork. To avoid having white borders around your design, extend your design to the bleed line area. Take note of the trim line. This is the actual edge of your print, so anything outside of this will be trimmed away. All of the fold lines are included in this template, so you can see exactly where it's going to be folded. These indicate where the folds will incur on the packaging. To customize your design, simply drag your images and text into the spaces. Follow the instructions in the template to adjust for bleed and safety zones. In this section here, it says spine. This is what will be on the spine of the record. You can put your artist name and the release name in this section. Ensure your design looks professional and well aligned. Once your design is complete, it's time to save it as a PDF. These are the settings you'll need. Go over to the Layers tab and uncheck all of the guides. Uncheck any crop and printer marks before exporting because you don't want to be saving these with the PDF. Save it as a PDF X4 in a CMYK color space. Set the output intent profile to coated Forger 39. Let's repeat this process for the inner sleeve. Use all of the same settings as you did for the cover for the inner sleeve. Let's move on to the center label. Make sure you take note of all of the guides like we did with the front cover. Keep in mind that the center label will have a center cutout, so make sure your designs keep this in mind. In the center label, include all of the tracks on each side. Mark clearly that it's the A or B side, so your fans know exactly what side they're listening to. Now it's time to upload your three PDF files. Ensure they are under 100 megabytes. If needed, use Adobe Acrobat to optimize your PDFs. Once you have uploaded all of the components for the artwork, you can see a 3D animation of your record. You can interact with the render by pausing the automatic animation, then dragging it with your mouse to rotate the record. Zoom in and out with your mouse or hold the space bar and move the record around the screen. When the animation is paused, you can also jump into certain views using the forward and backwards buttons. If you want to play the animation, hit the play button again. You can easily re-upload any section of the artwork until it looks exactly how you envisioned it. In case the animation doesn't update after uploading the new file, it is important that you always wait until the processing completes first, which can take a while. Just refresh the page and you should see the updated animation. Keep uploading new versions of your components for the artwork until you are happy. Once the stage is completed, you can go ahead and order a test vinyl or CD. In the next video, we'll finalize our release and set up a release group and attach it to our artist page.